this and be my people. You are to come up higher, says the Lord. For my heart is tender towards you, my people. Even the plans and the purposes, the will of the Father, the will that I have for your life, says the Lord. It is indeed an open door. It is indeed freedom and liberty. But it is power and authority in the Spirit, says the Lord. Even my word shall break the impossible that is before you. Even as you cannot afford to think, even apart from what your God thinks about you, you cannot afford to even entertain thoughts from the enemy. But you are to block them out. You are to align yourself. Just like an athlete, says the Lord, you are to align your thoughts, your emotions and your purposes with my word. For then you shall have breakthrough, says the Lord. But as you let the enemy affect your thinking, it disturbs the whole control system, says the Lord. For your thoughts, as it were, are the central control system of your life. And as you think, with the purpose of you are the height of my creation. Even this earth was created for your pleasure, says the Lord. Even as I gave that authority and that power to Adam, it has been reclaimed through the cross, through my son. It is now yours, my people. For your destiny is for you to speak forth. Your destiny, your purposes are for you to purpose in the spirit. They are yours. You have this authority. You have this power. You are not powerless before your enemy, says the Lord. But you are to rise up. You are to rise up to a higher place, says the Lord. For the Lord, your God, would declare even this day, is not my covenant for you? Have I not openly declared my love, my purposes for you? They are all for good, says the Lord. They are all for good. But you are to put aside even the anxiety, says the Lord. Even in the, in the, even in the world today, yes, the, the world is in turmoil, says the Lord. The enemy knows that his time is short. But you are protected by that blood, says the Lord. As you purposely declare the death and the resurrection of my son through communion over your life, says the Lord. You are protected. Plead the blood, plead the blood, for if there is strong power, hallelujah, the enemy cannot get through what I have done for you, for the works of Jesus are greater than the works of the enemy in your life. So purpose to walk in peace, says the Lord, purpose to be in good relationship with those around you, for the destiny of the Lord your God is for nothing but goodness to you, my people. And you are to put aside those thoughts of unworthiness. Yes. For I have made you worthy. I have raised you up and used to stand in that high place as priests and kings under your God. You are to stand high and in a boldness. For you will need a boldness in these coming days, says the Lord. And you are to act with boldness. For even in the days of Moses, says the Lord, there were only two that dared to stand out. There were only two that dared to walk in what I promised them. But you, all the others were educated and they were good men. But you are to have a boldness and a courage in these last days, says the Lord, that I can show forth my power. For it is yours, it is all yours. The victory is won. Be not afraid of your enemies and refuse lack. And refuse the attack of the enemy in your body. For have I not, have I not won the victory for your body? Your health is for me to declare over you, says the Lord. Not your enemies. Not your enemies. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, I am the Lord your healer. I am the Lord your God. I created you. I can fix you. Hallelujah. So put your hands in mine, says the Lord your God. Hallelujah.